So to start things off, we're going to basically take an introductory view to the concepts of ethical hacking and penetration testing. We're going to start out by defining the concept altogether. What exactly is ethical hacking? What does it mean to us? And where does it fall into in the role of information security in today's networks and companies? We're going to define the various types of ethical hacking. We're also going to talk about the responsibilities of an ethical hacker. In other words, what you should and should not do and what steps you should take to make sure that you handle your job in a responsible and professional manner. We're also going to define some of the expectations that customers might have when performing vulnerability assessment or penetration testing against their networks. Especially as a consultant, you want to take the time to really define what the customer is looking for. Because there are so many different venues of attacks and disclosures, it's very possible that things can be misinterpreted to and from the customer. So spending some time on this is definitely a good investment. We're going to talk about what skills will be required of the person performing ethical hacking or penetration testing as well. We're also going to take some time to define some of the laws that actually apply to penetration testing and ethical hacking. In addition, we'll cover some preparation in preparing for the job and the various types of attacks that you might perform against a company's networks or systems. So, where does ethical hacking fall into? What category does it neatly file away into information assurance or information security? And basically, it's a very integrated part of an ongoing process that is your security architecture. The definition of ethical hacking can mean many different things, but we're going to define it here as being the art and science of understanding and determining vulnerabilities inside your information infrastructure. We want to be able to defend against attacks. That's the primary goal here. And the idea behind ethical hacking is we want to put ourselves in the hacker's shoes. We want to be able to see what they see, do what they do, and by doing that should gain a better in-depth understanding of how we can defend ourselves against those hackers. History has shown us that hackers have always been several steps ahead of network security professionals. And that being for a couple of reasons. Usually, your people that are in corporate information security don't have the background in being a script kitty or spending some time on the internet doing some malicious things or really understanding how attacks take place. So what you're going to find is understanding the attack methodologies and the attack venues available then you can better lock your network down and defend or mitigate against those attacks. Ethical hacking is generally performed by a highly skilled and experienced security professional. Now there's been some controversy in the past about whether you should hire convicted felons that are hackers to be security professionals. And without getting into a lot of the detail involved there, the most important thing to remember here is that above all else, even above skill, these must be professional and ethical security professionals. People that have the self-control to find these exploits and responsibly disclose how they work and what problems they might bring with them. So bear in mind our goal here is that we are working for the good guys. We're not the bad guys and we're not out to hurt these companies. We're out to help them better their security infrastructure. We're basically going to be attacking the weaknesses in the network and we want to beat the hackers to that again like I said it's always been that we've been several steps behind the hackers so this is kind of an effort for us to try to catch up with them or possibly even be steps ahead of them by pre-hacking our network almost and finding those holes before they do we're gonna rely on the exact same techniques and tools that were developed from people out there in the trenches performing live hacks against companies. So this has been studied and reviewed and ultimately implemented as a methodology using similar tools and techniques as what hackers would use. So we want to find these holes, find these weaknesses and these various exploits and vulnerabilities and we want to protect ourselves against them by either mitigation, risk management or overall network defense in depth. So this should give you a pretty good idea about what you should be looking for when you're looking to get into the process of ethical hacking. So knowing the definition is definitely a valuable asset. Knowing what you're there for and what the role you're going to play in the large scope of information security.